Once upon a time, in a town called Joyville, there lived a jolly fellow named Mr. Funny. He had a gift for spreading laughter wherever he went. His days were spent telling jokes, pulling pranks, and making everyone around him giggle. One sunny day, as Mr. Funny strolled through the town square, he noticed people looking glum. No smiles, no laughter, just sad faces all around. He decided to do something about it. With a big grin on his face, he started his funny dance, hopping and twirling, trying to bring back the joy, but no one laughed. Instead, they looked puzzled and a bit annoyed. Mr. Funny couldn't understand why his usual antics weren't working. Feeling puzzled, he approached an old man sitting on a bench. Be right there, why isn't anyone laughing today? Mr. Funny asked, scratching his head. The old man smiled kindly and said, Oh, dear Funny, today is a special day. It's Remembrance Day, a day to honor and remember those who are no longer with us. People are feeling nostalgic and remembering their loved ones. Mr. Funny nodded, understanding the solemnity of the occasion. He realized that while laughter was wonderful, there were times when people needed comfort and understanding more than jokes. Determined to help, Mr. Funny put on his thinking cap. He went around town, asking people about their cherished memories of their loved ones. He listened intently to their stories, wiping away tears and sharing hugs. In the end, people wiped away their tears, but this time, they smiled through them. Mr. Funny had brought a different kind of joy, one that touched their hearts. The moral of Mr. Funny's story is that laughter is amazing, but sometimes, understanding and kindness are what truly lift people's spirits. There are moments for jokes and moments for quiet support. Knowing when to offer each is the real art of bringing joy to others. From that day on, Mr. Funny became known not only for his jokes but also for his compassionate heart. He learned that while laughter could bring joy, sometimes, a listening ear and a warm embrace were the best medicine for a sad heart.